predicted uh, the tragic events on the field of play and the week, uh, the events of the week that followed it. Uh, 500 people packed into St Mary's Church in Hamilton today and many hundreds more lined the streets outside to pay their last respects and to say farewell to Phil O'Donnell. They came from near and far, from football, from politics, from life. The mourners were led by Phil's widow Eileen and his four children, 12-year-old Megan, 10-year-old Christian, 6-year-old Olivia and Luke, just four. Each carried a single rose. By the time they took their seats, St Mary's was full of friends, family and, of course, footballers. The Motherwell players who took part in Saturday's fateful game were there, as were the Dundee United players, their opponents. Today's players from Celtic, one of Phil O'Donnell's previous clubs, paid their respects, as did representatives from Rangers. Former teammates and friends from the game from all over packed into the church to say their own special goodbyes. You might not know this, but Phil loved karaoke and Neil Diamond in particular. And on clubs nights out, he provided the entertainment with his rendition of Forever in Blue Jeans, accompanied by Clarkey on backing vocals. He was one of the boys and a great teammate. On one of the many tributes left to Phil, a little boy had written on his football strip before he placed it down. God must have needed a captain in heaven. We are well aware that heaven's gain is Motherwell's loss. So full was the church, hundreds stood outside to listen to the service relayed to them by loudspeakers. Among them, more friends and teammates from the beautiful game, the game Phil O'Donnell graced all too briefly. Really moving, uh, fantastic turnout from uh, the football world and from all these friends and people who just knew Phil O'Donnell. But I can't remember anybody ever having a bad word to say about Phil and uh, I think that's why so many people were here and why it's touched so many people. It's just, you know, such a family man, led such a balanced life. Later he was taken to nearby Bent Cemetery. As the cortege left the church, those outside paid their own tribute. He was buried not far from Davy Cooper, another member of the Scottish Cup winning Motherwell team of 1991, taken tragically early. Well, it's been a cold, miserable winter's day all day here, but still, even tonight, people have come along to Fir Park to look at the thousands, yes, thousands of tributes to Phil O'Donnell. And something I saw today which touched me and summed up, I think, the, the mood of the whole week was in the order of uh, service for his Requiem Mastery, and it says quite simply, divided by teams, united in grief. Live from Fir Park and Motherwell John on a very sad day. Back to you in the studio. Mike Edwards, thank you.